Hello and welcome back to the Kodri's Legacy channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to disable all of the child widgets within a frame. This is a pretty handy technique and it's, it only takes a minute to actually implement. So I advise you to pay attention, okay? So I've already created some base code over here. You can see that uh, I have the root set up and I've already you know, defined a size for the window 200 by 200. I have a class set up over here. I have a frame set up over here, which I call the main. And over here, I have a button and a check button created, okay? So I did, I did this, you know, just so we don't waste any time. And I want to show you something now, how to disable individual widgets, okay? Before we actually take a look at how to disable all of the widgets in a frame, okay? I want to show you how to disable individual widgets. So the thing is uh, that each button or each check button or any kind of widget in take enter that can, you know, be disabled, or that has states because not all widgets actually have states okay like a label for instance you can't disable a label okay so only some widgets can actually be disabled or you know you, know, you can change their states there are three states in Tekinder active normal and disabled active is when they're being interacted with like you're you know selecting a check button or clicking on a button uh, normal is when they're in their default state and disabled is when you basically disable them. You cannot interact with them anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna go actually be showing you that state right now. Basically, stuff.b1.configure state is equal to disabled. Okay, there we go. And by the way, you can actually, uh, if you want a button to be disabled upon its creation, you can just put this option in, in here like this. Okay, but we don't want that, so we're not going to. Okay, and we, uh, let's just leave it at that, yeah. So command is equal to self dot disable. Okay. Now watch this, I'll click on this button and it's now disabled. It's now grayed out and I can't click on it anymore. So it's pretty clear now that disabling is actually working here and how we're doing it. So what I want to do now, however, is basically disable all of the widgets in this frame, okay? And there could be like 20 of them, there could be 30, maybe, maybe more. And I'm not, I'm not gonna write a separate command for each one now, am I? So there's a really easy technique that, you know, which you can use for this. I'm gonna define a new function called toggle, okay? And over here, I'm just gonna connect this to it. Okay, actually I can connect it using the regular technique. Actually, I'm gonna to need to use a technique called lambda. Okay, lambda self.toggle. Now, why am I using lambda? It's because I want to pass in parameters. Okay, that's why. When you're using the regular format, when you're using this format, self.toggle, and you do something like this, okay, you try passing in parameters. Uh, basically, it actually gets regarded as a function call not as the function name. This is something a bit tricky and I'll make a separate video on this later. I'll link it in the description below for you. Uh, but please don't get confused, okay? Do not include parameters, okay? Do not include these parentheses in the command, okay? So if you want to do that, you need to use this lambda trick over here. And the reason I want to include parameters is because I want to add in an additional parameter for the children of that frame, okay? I'm gonna basically pass the children of the frame into this function and then we're going to disable all those children so how am i going to do that well self dot main dot win info underscore children and that's it this basically is a handy technique to um how do i put this uh to pass in the children, okay, it basically win uh, info, sorry, win underscore children, it basically retrieves the children of that frame and then passes them into this function over here, okay. So now what I'm going to do is basically iterate over each one of these for child and children, okay, now we'll begin working on, a, on the. Now, here I need to check for something. I need to check to see whether it's disabled or not. Because I could easily go ahead and do child.configure uh, state is equal to disabled. I could easily do this. But you know what the problem here is? That if I click on this button and the button gets disabled, I can't re-enable that button. Okay? And that's going to be annoying. Because, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and actually try that out. Watch. 
there you go. Uh, they're both grayed out now. I can't interact with either of them. So what happens if I want to re-enable this? I can't do that. So this is where I actually, um, you know, sort of add in some more functionality over here that I'm going to say if if the child state is disabled, then I want you to re-enable it. State is equal to normal. Okay. Otherwise, if it's not disabled, okay, I want you to, let me just copy this over here. If it's not disabled, disable it. Okay. And just so we have some clarity, let's add in some print statements over here. Uh, Re-enabling widgets. Okay. And over here, let's copy paste this over here and say disabling widgets. All right. Now let's run this. Okay. Slight mistake there. Hold on. Okay. And the reason I'm converting this to a string actually because this, uh, if I remember correctly, it doesn't exactly re return a string. Okay. It needs to be converted to a string. Okay. So just remember that. And there we go. Okay, this is where I totally forgot. Actually, I was supposed to create a different function for the toggling. Actually, I completely messed this up a bit. But basically, what I want to do here is, how um, do I put this? Create a new button down here. Okay. Uh, I, I messed up a bit. Okay, so just hold on a minute. Self.master. Okay. Text is equal to toggle button. And command is equal to. Uh, come here, come here. Okay, come here. I'm just going to delete this out of there. And put this in here instead. Okay, great. And let's put something else in this button. Let's create a new function over here called def display self print button has been pressed. Okay. And I'm going to just put that over there. Okay, I got, I know this got a little confusing, but basically what I just did here was to create a separate button for the toggling. Okay. Let me just pack this in. And we're done. Great. We're done. Now watch. I'm going to press this button. They're disabled. I'll press it. Re-enabled. Okay. And uh, what I said earlier is about that button, you know, that uh, if this button is grayed out and I can't press it, what I actually wanted to say is that if we uh, had the old format here, like if I, if I press this button and the only thing that happened was that they were disabled and I can't re-enable them, that's a problem, right? So that's basically what I meant. So yeah, it's pretty effective what we've, what we've done here. And well, yeah, I hope you found this useful. And as you can see, we just did it within like how many lines? Six, seven? So yeah. Uh, if you liked it, and then make sure to leave a comment and a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content because there will be a lot more in the future. So yeah, see you in a later video. Thank you.